Hey, you know what it is? This is Joker News. You're speaking. We got some more juicy news for you. We got a video that could convict Tupac's alleged murder, as shown above. Now, the prosecutors, they will be uh, seeking to establish a motive for the murder of rap superstar Tupac. Now, Shakur, by showing the jury a video of the musician allegedly beating the defendant's nephew outside a Las Vegas casino, and I made that video... Uh, in another video I posted earlier about Tupac and the untold story, so check those out. Now, the CCTV footage from 1996 shows a group of men punching and kicking Orlando, Baby Lane, Anderson, until a security guard intervenes and stands over his body. Now, hours later, Shakur, one of America's biggest rap stars, was also shot dead. And so, when the car he was traveling in stopped at a traffic light, the accused, Dwayne Keith D. Davis, pleaded not guilty to the, to the murder on Thursday, and the court in Las Vegas is now preparing for a jury trial. And so right there, that's like big, big news. Now, Tupac Shakur in Chicago, Illinois, in March 1994, a video of Shakur and his friends are allegedly being a man is expected to play a major part in the trial of the musician's alleged murder, which is Dwayne Davis. Now... Davis spoke of his involvement in the uh, infractions in a memoir and also in, in several interviews. Now, prosecutors hope the CCTV video will show he and his nephew had a motive for killing Shakur and that Davis' claims are not fabricated both. But, you know, I was talking about this in my earlier videos where he basically gave himself away, you know. He told on himself. Now, the prosecution... Uh, a team are seeking to establish that on September 7, 1996, and you know, he shouldn't have really incriminated himself the way he did, or he acted like he was high and mighty, and that nothing could touch him, and he was untouchable. That's, that's where he was wrong. And now then, one of the biggest names in rap arrived in Las Vegas when an entourage that included Suge Knight, the head of Shakur's music label Death Row Records, and Shakur's fiance, Kida, Kidada Jones, for a heavyweight title fight between Mike Tyson and Bruce Seldon. Now, the fight lasted fewer than two minutes with Tyson winning in a first round knockout at around 8.50 p.m. outside the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Now, Shakur and Knight and their entourage got into a fight with the group that included Davis and his nephew Anderson. Now, a group of men gathered around Anderson and kicked and punched him until he was prone on the ground. Now, in the beating, one man appears to push another out of the way to get at Anderson. And now the prosecutors are also going to seek out to establish that Davis and Anderson were members of the Southside Compton Crips, a Southern California-based gang that were rivals of Knight's blood affiliate gang, Mob Peru. Now, Anderson, who was killed in an unrelated gang shooting in 1998, is accused of conspiring with his uncle to find a gun. Davis was allegedly supplied with one by a gangster from Harlem, New York, according to, the, to his memoir. And now, that's how they, they kind of set him up right there, too. Shortly before 9 p.m., Shakur's group left the MGM Garand. Now, at around 11.15 p.m., prosecutors say the rapper was riding in the passenger seat of a black BMW that Knight was driving. The car stopped at a red light at the junction of the Flamingo Road and Colville Lane, a block from the Strip. And then a white Cadillac is said to have pulled up, as you've seen in the video, and it is said had driven to the next to the BMW at the lights that Suge Knight was in with Tupac. And, you know... It's like he was set up even by Biggie and uh, Suge because, you know, Suge had him in the white Cadillac with him. Or not the white Cadillac, but the BMW. And then had the white Cadillac pull up on the side. And, you know, that's just all kind of conspicuous, uh, kind of, you know, suspicious because Knight seemed to have survived, but Tupac was killed. Now, um, as the other car pulled up beside Mr. Shakur, Mr. Knight, and an arm came out the back window and began shooting, Malcolm Greenidge, a lifelong friend of Shakur who had traveled to Las Vegas with him, was riding in a car behind the BMW, told the grand jury that they indicted uh, Davis. Now, Shakur 
was hit with four bullets, two of them to his chest. He died six days later on September 13th, age 25. And Davis is now struggling to find legal representation, having missed a court-ordered deadline for appointing an attorney. Now his supporters are fundraising for a private lawyer outside the legal aid system. Niyama Brahami, a former federal prosecutor and president of West Coast Trial Lawyers Law Firm, said that the surveillance video of Shakur allegedly beating Anderson could have had a major effect on the jury's opinion. Now, the video surveillance is great evidence of motive, but the brawl took place shortly before the murder, and the prosecution will be able to call witnesses and experts to establish the rivalry between Tupac and Davis Anderson. Now, that right there, like I was saying, he incriminated himself. He gave himself away. He shouldn't have gave himself away the way he did. He shouldn't have incriminated himself. He shouldn't have uh, been snitching on himself and think he was untouchable. And he should have had, shouldn't have been going in the podcast just constantly talking, 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 you know, and just telling on himself, snitching on himself and even some people around him. Now, Davis can't use the brawl to argue self-defense because he can't use deadly force unless there is an imminent, imminent risk of death or serious bodily injury shooting into an occupied vehicle that doesn't meet that burden. Now, he said Davis has made some problematic admissions that will make it difficult to counter the prosecution narrative, Rahami said. Now, he suggested that Davis may be better off accepting legal aid rather than a private lawyer given the weight of evidence, but lawyers don't like to lose, especially if they're not getting paid. And anyone in private practice who accepts this case is going to want to make sure they are paid up front, he said. Now, public defenders or lawyers on the indigenous uh, panel are a different story. They are paid with government funds, and unless they have to accept res representation, Unless there is some sort of conflict, he said, then indigenous panels are used to appoint counsel when a defendant is considered to be unable to pay the fees required to hire a defense lawyer. Now, Davis has a personal lawyer in California already, but he's having a tough time finding a Nevada attorney to handle the murder case. Now, prosecutors aren't going to give much of a deal after all these years, and if Davis was really the shot caller and responsible for Tupac's death, this case is likely going to trial. So, you know, stay tuned on these juicy news. Keep checking it out. I'm going to keep you up to date. Hit that like and subscribe. Let us know where you're all from.